Seymour Fracture, Clinical Overview, and Management, Understanding, Pediatric Distal, Phalangeal, Injuries, Definition, A Seymour Fracture is a, Displaced Distal Phalangeal, Physio Fracture with an, Associated Nail Bed Injury, It is considered an open, Fracture due to the nail, Bed Laceration, Anatomy Involved, Involves the distal phalanx specifically. The growth plate, physis, associated with nail bed structures, including the germinal matrix. Mechanism of injury, typically results from a crushing injury, such as a finger caught in a door. The force causes a flexion deformity, due to the imbalance between flexor and extensor tendons. Clinical presentation, flexed posture of the distal phalanx resembling a mallet finger. Nail plate may be lying superficial to the eponychial fold. Possible nail bed laceration or subluxation. Diagnostic evaluation. Clinical examination. Assess for nail. Bed injury and flexion deformity. Imaging. Lateral radiographs to identify. Physial fracture and displacement. Classification. Can be classified as Salter Harris. Type 1 or 2 fractures. May also include metaphysial. Fractures 1 to 2 mm distal to the epiphyseal plate. Treatment principles. Prompt recognition and treatment are essential. All Seymour fractures are considered open fractures and require appropriate management. Non-operative management. Indicated for closed, non-displaced. Fractures without interposed tissue. Includes closed reduction, splinting, and antibiotic therapy. Surgical management. Required for open fractures, displaced fractures or those with interposed soft tissue. Procedures, irrigation and debridement, open reduction and internal, fixation often with K-wire, nail bed repair. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.